Okay, so the infrared spectra of organic compounds. Well, the IB data booklet has the thing that you can see on the left there, that little table, and it really is just pattern matching, matching it up. So to me, that looks like that could be hydrogen bonding in alcohols and phenols, that blobby there. The other one coming down, alkanes, alkenes, arenes. Okay, I believe you. And I'm not sure which of these two peaks could be the alcohol. And that's a little bit how infrared spectroscopy goes. There's all these kind of lines all over the place. And not all of them seem to make sense, but the IB is going to fix it for you so that every, th every line pretty much is going to have its place. Now, I've showed you a real spectrum there, but they'll give you kind of fake ones that look nice. But now an easier way to do it is if I give you the actual molecule and then you can work out which peak is which. So let's do that for chloroethanoic acid. Alrighty, so chloroalkanes is 600 to 800, so that's that little one there. Moving on down the list, yep, there's C single bond, sorry, C double bond O is that one there probably. Yep, I found the OH is going to be that one. Now the kind of carbony hydrogen ones aren't normally so obvious. And there's a star, I'm not sure what that is. And so, you know what, that comes in what's called the fingerprint region. And so that's unique to each chemical. So in reality, how these things work is the fingerprint region, you just check that against your database and it tells you unambiguously what it is.